GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zelot, and we are here doing the Alpha 10 series with the Arid Start. And you can see I have finished off my little water tower bunker, so to speak. So the I, you can see where I came up was almost perfect. <laughs> I mean, it's just awesome. And so what I've done is I put four water generators on the snow and then just locked them in inside here. Yeah, this isn't 100% sealed, so it's not airtight, but it is warmer than outside. So it, it keeps it a little bit warmer in here. We've got one of these new armored doors that are actually sealed, although... Right now it doesn't matter because you can't do the trick like you used to anymore where if you have half a block it would seal that whole block. It doesn't do that anymore. So air can escape out of there. Uh, but you can see that the, the inside temperature is only 25 degrees. So it's 15 degrees warmer than the outside temperature of negative of 40. Um, so that's awesome. And I'm not really sure why. <laughs> Uh, is it because of where I'm standing? Let's let's see. No, oh, look at that. It's actually quite warm here. Nice. So, yeah, I don't have oxygen up here because it's not sealed. But I can shoot if I want. So, let's say there's baddies out there. I can shoot. <laughs> And I've got some protection, right? So what we're going to do today, uh, oh yeah, let's let's see. When was the last time we were attacked? Three days, nine hours ago. So we haven't been attacked since that initial attack. We're already up to class two. And did our reputation go down a bit? Oh, is that what's going on? No, we're still hostile. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, we haven't been attacked again. So, not a big deal. Let me just shrink down a little bit here so that I can bring the drone out. What I want to do is, yeah, see, now we're kind of, we're protected when we come get water. I've, I made this thing out of armored concrete obviously and I'm hoping those critters can't come up and climb inside here I don't think they can I don't think they can anyway let's continue putting the turrets on so I got one rocket turret that I was able to make and eight of the sentry guns. So what I want to do with the rocket turret is, uh, I want to do a flak turret. I don't really want to do a, I mean, if I do a rocket turret, the I don't have enough for restroom to, to do the ammo. So let's spin this facing south. I'm pretty sure that's south, isn't it? That's north, so that's south. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a flak cannon up on the top. We've got four regular cannons down there. And then I'm going to put the sentry guns around here. So I'm going to go with these ones. So there, and there, boom. Oh, was he getting all, oh no, that was just the sun. Okay, <laughs> just the sun coming up. And yes, I did time this for the sun to be coming up. Okay. 
and nice. So there we go. We've got our our little armored water bunker for the top of the base. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it can withstand a Xerax incursion. It's kind of cool, actually. I should put some. Uh, I should texture it. Well, let's get some ammo. I, I built an ammo locker here. I'll show you. We'll go down here. Oh, I need one more elevator block. Now this elevator goes down quite far. Like seriously. I should pro probably put an O2 um, thing up there. Yeah, that's a good idea. O2 thing and a healing station, a medi, medi station. Yeah. Go make those. So this is where I put the ammo boxes because I'm like, oh crap, I'm running out of room. I'm like, wait, that little side room. Perfect. So I've made some ammo. Let's put the ammo in. Um, so if we go like this and then we go ammo and then we go boom, boom, boom. And oh crap, we didn't make any flak ammo. And I've made a deconstructor too, which we're going to install right now. So we, we need to make some flak ammo. Oh, we got to pick our garden too. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So deconstructor, let's get this thing down. It's on number one. Ooh. Did they change? Oh no, it's the same. Um, yeah, that's good. Oh no, that is new. That's new. I haven't seen it since they... I haven't seen the new model. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. So, I was going to build another one out here too. I don't know if I need to though. Probably don't need to. And I've got now a bunch of cargo in here. So there we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's taking shape. We've got to texture and paint this room. What are we at here? We're at 50.6%. Um... We're doing okay there. I just made a whole bunch of fuel. But I don't think we have any more oxygen. Oops. Oxygen. We can throw those in there just to get rid of them. Why not? <laughs> okay, so I gotta make more oxygen. I gotta make another one of these things so here's the I'm working on it right now here's the uh, hangar bay so I put 15 of the <laughs> of those in so they're underground now the funny thing is let's get my drone back so I can show you can I get up over this yep so, oh, it's foggy, that's why. It's foggy. But you can see it. they, they actually work. <laughs> they work. And they're airtight, too. So, I can, uh, once I seal this back corner up, I can, this will be all sealed in here. Then I'll put, um, I'll probably put another turret up against this wall here. Yeah. And have, like, another one sitting down like right here oh I did not notice that he came right in there holy crap he's whoa what what did he did wow um 
So are you going to get lippy with us? Is he doing his little dance? Yep, yep. So I don't know if he's stuck or not. That's kind of weird. If I shoot him, I'll probably die. I can always run. Pulse rifle. I think I want the laser rifle. Here, we'll... Uh, Oh, come on. Whoa. Uh, okay, let's go for the headshot. Wow. Uh-oh. Oh, he was coming right in. Just like he owned the joint. Wow. Yeah, he was pretty lippy. We'll just grab his going ads and go back in and fry him up. Make some lamb fries out of him. Good, good. Okay. And you know what? We should pick the garden. <laughs> pick the garden. And connect to the fridge so that we can pick the garden. That way I don't have to like do anything it just automatically is going into the fridge nice nice good I got rid of the non-optimal crop and replaced with the optimal crop types so we've got to build up a bunch of spice and pumpkins and buds basically is what we really need to work on here so let's do that we want pumpkin spice buds let's see how it fares with that and we wanted to make some ammo for the flak now what does that take Black shell BA. Uh, here, we can go like this and look at what it needs. Flak shell BA. Yep, okay. So let's make a bunch of those, whatever we can. It's going to be the limiting factor, is going to be magnesium, I bet. Magnesium powder 12? Holy crap! That's insane. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely going to be a limiting factor. Well, we'll see what it can make. <laughs> 12. Crap. It's okay. I only got one turret so far, so, you know. But I will have some more flak turrets eventually, so I don't really like using up all the magnesium powder right now, but whatever. We will want to start thinking about an SV and going to get more magnesium, I think, from the moon. Yeah. Or we can bypass an SV and go for a tiny little compact CV, and I can tow the miner up to the moon and back. I think that's a better idea because then I can get way more. So I think that's what we're going to do next is we're going to work on this. Let's bring in because it's super ultra ridiculous crazy ultra insane cheap. Uh, what the heck did I call it again? Something Cargo, cargo something, cargo, cargo mole? No. Uh, I'll have to remember what, what I call that. I can't really remember. Starter base, advanced, camo shack. I don't want to do that. Small explorer, swamp scow. No, they're all way too expensive. Are you here? Let's elevator blocks. Flying hangar? No, we don't want that crap. Oh, 
Okay, well, I guess I don't, uh, I don't have it anymore. That's weird. Let's take a look. Cheap starter? No. Cargo small? Yeah, there it is. Okay, here we go. So this thing is super duper cheap, as you can see. The Neo is going to be the hardest thing to get, 270. The Sathium is nothing. I can go get that from the, uh, um, what do you call it, the Titans. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. So what we can do, yeah, let's, let's send that to the factory. And what we can do is we have some special stuff that we can throw in there right away. Where were they? Blocks? Yeah. These RCS. So let's do that. Let's um, let's change to here. We'll go to blocks. Pick that up. Put those into here. And then we can go to here. And we'll just throw those in. Excellent. Now this is going to give us more than we really need in the way of a restroom Zaskoz, but I don't care. The uh, Neo, big Neo. Nice. Okay, so we need 210 Neo. That should be doable. That's not too bad. I can go pop more. Um, we can go find more thrusters, hopefully. And yeah. Okay, how is our ammo going? Output, and we'll go to base, ammo, boom. Okay, well, we got something. And then let's make sure everything's all grouped again. Go into turrets. And we're going to get rid of Predator. We're going to apply to group. And that should now be ready to rock and roll. What are we at here in the way of stats? Still 50%-ish. It's been three days, 15 hours since the last attack. So really, I mean, not that big of a deal. We've got a We've got a rock and base going now, and and garden, and yeah, I mean one. I don't know. I've got lots of weapons up and stuff, and it's just it's not really making the aggro any worse. It's not the energy footprint barely went up, like point two, really. So. Adding weapons to it doesn't seem to increase the aggro very much at all. It just adds to the size class, it seems. So that's that doesn't trigger anything anymore. Okay. Well, we got to try and keep building the base, making it bigger, I guess. Because that's the only thing now that will seem to, to make it worse, is, is uh, making the base bigger. Well, let's see if we can seal up the, where are we here? The disorientated, yep, this is right. Let's see if we can get this sealed up. And we'll call it an episode. Okay. So we want to bring this out to here at least, right? So let's grab our gear. Where is it? It is in output. So let's go back to output. Here, I'm going to flip this to here. Grab this. Should be enough. Yeah, 
I just wanted it to come out far enough so that I could put all 15 of the um, solar panels up. Okay. Nice. down in? No, it didn't. Okay. So because it didn't, go like this and dig that up a bit. Okay, let's just clean this up a bit. blocks up and should seal it. Come on. Bring those across. Just pull this wall the way up. Yep. And there we go. That should seal it. And yep, there we go. 22 degrees in here. So this should be enough room to park a couple vehicles. There's a nice spot around the corner here and yeah there's there's plenty of space this is a good size i'll be able to fly an hv and a sv into here no problem okay well i guess i'll put uh a ventilator up here and get all this oxygenated and so it's still foggy. That's unfortunate. Well, even with foggy, we got 134 PU, which isn't too bad. I mean, now what I should be doing now is I'm going to build a switch to turn all non-essential gear off. There we go. Okay, what is our consumption? 619, God. It's the turrets that I put up. It's just gonna gobble the fuel now. That's fine, whatever. We've got lots of uh, promethium, so we can just keep gobbling the fuel. Well, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, we've got a bunch of sealed off rooms now. Look at that, the base is almost completed construction wise got to do you know obviously some odds and sods and and get some furnaces um i need to make a medical bay i don't want to use this area as a medical this is going to be more cargo i think so yeah medical medical i don't know where we're going to have medical I should probably have it off here, somewhere. I don't know where though. <laughs> Maybe in the back there? Medical? That doesn't seem like a good spot. Okay. Bloody thing wouldn't open. Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe medical on the inside here. Maybe we'll do all the medical right here. That's not a bad idea, actually. 
kind of a hanger medical medical hanger <laughs> okay guys well uh next episode we will be trying to go and find the mats together to get that cv going uh, and i'm going to continue working on the base uh texturing it or make it look a little better get some more gear in um yeah yeah awesome make some more i need to make some turrets some more cannon turrets to put down here and i need to upgrade all this to combat um to armored concrete yeah okay well lots of work still so next episode we will be on the hunt for some neo i guess if we if we can't then we're gonna have to build an sv which i really don't want to so till then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day <laughs>